In this video, I'm going to uh, give a brief introduction of the matrix uh, since we're going to review some of the uh, basic concept of matrix. Okay, so first of all, uh, what are the matrix? So a matrix is just you put a number, uh, a set of numbers in uh, uh, rows and columns. So um, for example, you can put a number 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 4, 7, 6. So this is the first row is 1, 2, 3, the second row is 3, 2, 1, the last row is 4, 7, 6. Of course, you can also say that my first column is 1, 3, 4, second column is 2, 2, 7, and last column is 3, 1, 6. So you put as in a bracket, then you get a matrix. Okay. So this is also the, when we talk about matrix, we talk about the size of matrix. The size of matrix is determined by the number of row uh, times the number of columns. For example, in this case, we have uh, three rows and three columns. So we can say this matrix is three by three matrix. Three by three, the three rows by three columns. This is what it means. All right, for example, we can also have another matrix we define as B, which is one, two, three, four, seven, eight. So if they have three rows, uh, three rows and, and two columns. So this is three by two matrix, which means it has three rows and two columns, okay? Some of the problem for matrix, so we can do as we do the scalar as we normally we know we have a scalar let's say one or five whatever we uh, scalar we have we can do the plus minus products all the operations in a similar way we can also do the matrix uh, operations for example I can do the plus and minus two matrices okay when you do the plus and minus matrices you actually follow the rules you just do entry wise plus and do all entry wise minus. For example, if you do A plus B, you do entry wise plus, which is, uh, this is 2 by 2, this size is 2 by 2, and this is also 2 by 2. Because we do entry wise uh, plus and minus, so the size must match, which means if A is 2 by 2, B must be A 2 by 2, you have to do the plus or minus. So we do entry wise plus, which is two, one, 1 plus 1, if this is for plus, okay, so which is 2, and also we have the this guy plus this guy, so which is two. Similarly, do this uh, and plus this, okay? And this is a, this plus this, okay? So you get two, 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 okay? For a minus, just uh, uh, change your plus to minus. So it's a one minus one, so you get zero. Zero minus two is next to two, and zero minus two is next to two, and then one minus one, zero. So this is A minus B. You just do x, y, plus, minus, which will give you the matrix plus and minus minus. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about the the product. The product is a little bit complicated. Okay. We have if you do the for the scalar case, let's two times five. We know it's ten. So it's straightforward. Okay. Now the matrix product is a little bit complicated. It's a uh, here's a, let me first talk about the side in terms of dimension. So first of all, if I give a matrix A and B, I want to compute the product. So you must have the number of rows uh, for the first one must meet, uh, must be the same as number of columns for the second one in order to compute the, the the product and the size of the product will be just be given by the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns for the second one okay all right so to give you an example let's say a is zero one the same thing is one zero zero one so this is two by two this is a is two by two, okay. A is two by two, right over here. So a is two by two, and b is also two by two. So according to what we mentioned below, so the product will also have the size two by two. Is the number of row for the first one, number of column for the second one. So it's two by two. So the size will be two by two, and the product is given by this. So first do. The first entry of, because I have two by two, right? This is two by two, according to what I mentioned over here. So this, each entry is given by this. So first row and the first column of this guy is the product of the first row and of the A and the first column of B. What they mean by product, uh, what I mean by product of first row and of A and the first uh, column of B is that we do entry-wise product. For example, we do one time, we do this one times this one means one time one plus zero times two. Okay, one time one is one, zero times two is zero, so the sum will be one. Okay, so for the first
first row and the second column, you still pick the first row. So this is the this is number. This is the first row. For example, this one is first row and second column. So the first column, first row, come from the first one. Okay. The second column come from the the second one in the product. Okay. So it means I pick the first row and pick the second column. You do the product. So this is one times two plus zero times one. So get a two. So this guy, because this this one here is the second row in the first column, you do the second row, first one, the second row here, first column here, you do zero times one plus one times two, which is two. So this is the second row, second column, the second row times second column is zero times one plus one times one, or zero times two plus one times one, so it's one. So the product will be one, two, two, one, okay? So as you can see right here, A times B is not less than or equal to B times A. So in many cases, you even if you can compute A times B, you cannot compute B, B times A because the dimension may not match. For example, you can do A, let's say it's 2 by 3, B is 3 by 1. So you can do the product, but you cannot do B 3 times 1 times A 2. This is not okay. This is no product. So it doesn't mean you can do the opposite, you know. So first of all, they're not necessarily equal. Second one, they you may not be able to compute the flip the order, okay. So in terms of division, I don't want to talk about it over here. It's related to the inverse, so I'll talk about it later on when I talk about the, the division, okay. All right, so um, the question here is, I have a question over here is, if I have A is two by two matrix, B is two by two matrix, for example, and a times b is 0, 0, 0, 0. My question is, can we say that a is all 0 or b is all 0? So this question comes from the fact that if I have, let's say, scalar, let's say a times b is 0, right? Scalar case, okay? I know either a has to be 0 or b has to be 0. Otherwise, the product cannot be 0. So we have a question is, if the matrix product is all 0, can I say either a is 0 or b is 0, all 0? Okay, the answer is no. Okay, first of all, the answer is no because if I give a kind of a, a example, if A is one 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 and B is one one negative one negative one, if you do the product, follow what I mentioned over here, and you will get A times B is zero 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 because you do first row for two time first column. Let's say for the first entry, this first row first column. So you do the first row first one and the first column the first one. So you get one time one plus one time negative one. You get zero because that's the same. So it's all zero, zero, zero. So it doesn't mean it doesn't mean A has to be all, all zero uh, matrix, or it doesn't mean B has to be all zero matrix. Okay. So next concept is transpose. So transpose is we actually change the rows of the matrix to its column. I change the first row to first column, and second row to second column, and so on and so forth. Or you can also say I change the column to row because that's a, that's a, that's the same thing. For example, if you give it a 2 by 3 matrix, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's 2 rows, 3 columns. A transpose will have the 3, because I change the row to column, so I have 3 columns, and uh, 3 rows, uh, and 2 columns. Okay, so basically you, you change this one, you, you, you do the transpose, and you change it to column right over here. Similarly, you change this row over here, change it to column right over here. Then you have, it's 1, Four, two, five, three, six. So that's your transpose. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. So here's a question. So next one is uh, if a is equal to a transpose, so a is a cost metric. Okay. For example, if I have a one, two, two, one. If this is my matrix, if you do a transpose, because I change this row to column right, first column, so one and two. This one changes to col the, the column, so this row change to column two, one. So you see. That's the same as this one. So is the transpose the same? Is the same as itself? It's called symmetric. If a is equal to the negative of the symmetric, it's called skew symmetric. For example, if I have a equal to zero, negative one, one zero. So if you do a here again, if you do a transpose. So I have here is I change the row okay to column so zero, negative one okay. I change this one to second column. Okay, this is one zero over here. 
we could do is just selecting this guy, which is selecting this A. So it's called skew symmetry. You, typically, if you skew symmetry, the dynamic, the diagonal entry must be zero because it has to be zero. It has to be zero. Okay. Okay. So the next concept is a matrix determinant. This is a little bit complicated, but um, the definition uh, can be a little bit complicated. But actually, the way we compute it is pretty standard. Okay. So the matrix determinant actually is uh, defined as this. So first of all, we have defined the two by two matrix. It begin with begins with the two by two matrix. We can de determine. Uh, we can compute determinant. All higher order matrix, the determinant actually is uh, is you you should reduce order and until you reach two by two, so you can compute the determinant in that way. Okay, here what I mean by that. So for a two by two matrix, a determinant a determinant is de is computed by the the product of the diagonal entry, which is a one one. Let's say, assume as two by two by two matrix. So a one one, a one two, a two one, two two. That's my matrix. So the determinant is computed by uh, first compute the product of the diagonal entry, which is a one one times a two two. That's the diagonal entry. The product of diagonal entries. And this is the product of diagonal entries, as you can see over here. So it's the product of diagonal entry minus the product of diagonal entries. Okay, that's for two by two. So for three by three, for example, what we do is we have a reduce of the order because there's no direct definition of the three by three uh, determinant of three by three matrix. What we do is we actually can be determined this way. So you can either use select a row first. You select either row or column, which will either way you select. For example, first let's select the first row. You can select any row, any column. It doesn't matter. So let's say we just select select first row to begin with. What we do is. We first pick each entry on the row or column we selected. For example, if we select first row, I have three uh, entries. We have a11, a12, a13. Okay, so the pick one, any one over here, this should be a11. You put it over here for each one, for each entry. What you do is you first compute the minus one to the power of. So this number is coming from the the rows and columns on your on for this. For this specific entry, for because for example, this one we have a one one and the first row and the first column, so this is one plus one. It's the first row and first column. You basically put this number here is one or one, right? Put it over here, okay? So a one one times negative one one plus one, okay? All right. After that, you just delete the rows. And the column this entry is on because a11 is on the first row, so delete the first row and also delete the first column. So you end up only have these four numbers is two by two matrix. So it's a, you put a22, a323, a32, a33 because that's the remaining item. You don't flip the order. Just put it over here and then you put the determinant. This is called determinant. This is a determinant uh, notation. Okay. This is you compute a two by the determinant for this two by two matrix. Now I can compute how to do how to compute this because it's just can be determined two by two, which is coming from here. Okay, so this is only first first entry. I still have two entries left: a one two and a one three. So you do the same thing. So you do the plus a one two negative one to this one because this is a one two is the first row, first row and second uh, column. So you do one plus two, basically one plus two. Over here, negative one to the one plus two. Okay, then you delete. You also delete the rows and the column. This and this specific entry is on because this is the first row. Delete first row. Second entry, you delete the second uh, column. Column. So you end up having only a two one, a two three, a three one, a three three. So that's the remaining one. You compute. Then you compute the the the, the determinant. So this is, so this is the determinant means the determinant. Okay, follow the same rules. You plus a one three. Okay, time negative one one plus three because the first row and the third column, and then you delete the first the, the rows and column. This entry is on because this is the first row and last entry. You delete this one. You end up having only have a two one a two two a three one a three two. So that's the remaining one. Then you compute determinant of this. Now those ones, this is all coming from the definition over here for two by two matrix. Now I can compute determinant for three by three matrix. Okay. 
So it sounds like a little bit complicated, but we can actually, if I have two by three, four by four, you do the same thing. You actually do the same thing, but you have to reduce. If I have a four by four, you first also choose a row and a column, either row or column, and then try to use the same row. And then you don't, you have three by three, of course. Then you, for each three by three, you still keep it using the same, for each three by three, make sure you do the same row over here, try to compute. So this one I have to read something as, I say, a11, negative one, one plus one. And now you have, this is a three by three matrix, basically, you can do that. And this one, you apply the same row and I mentioned over here. Then you can compute the determinant of a four by four matrix, basically, okay? All right, so here, let, let me give an example showing how we actually, you know, because of special way we compute the determinant, the, the, the way we compute the determinant, so we, we may want to select the rows or column in a, in a smart way so we can simplify the computation, okay? For example, if I do A is 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 5, 0, 6, 7, or this, this is 3 by 3 matrix, if I want to compute the determinant of A, so I can, since I can pick any row, any column, so now I'm going to pick the first column, okay? Over here, the reason I'm gonna talk about the reason why I pick the first column. Okay, let's just follow the column over here. So the first column has three entries: this one, this one, this one. We follow the same row that I mentioned over here. The only difference is now we select a row, a row, not a column. Okay. So first we start with entry. Okay, this is one, and next you one to one plus one because it's on the first row, first column. So it's one plus one. So we just delete. Then we you delete the row and the column. This entry is on. We do this row, this column. So I have four, five, six, seven left. Okay. The second one I do plus zero times negative one, so th because this guy is on the first, uh, second row, uh, and the first column. Okay, so you can do this is two plus one. Okay, make it a little bit straightforward. Two plus one, and this is should be three plus one. So zero times negative one, two plus one, and then you delete the row and the column. This guy is on. So two, you delete this guy and delete this guy. So you have, we have, we only have two, three, six, seven. Okay. You follow the same way, you can also do the last one. So zero times negative one, three plus one. It delete this row and this column. Okay, so you have two, three, four, five. The reason I do this way, because I don't have a computer determinant for this guy, because this is already zero. So zero is gone, right? I don't have a computer. It doesn't matter what the value is at zero. So you only have to compute this first one. So the first one is one times negative one, one plus one. So it's one times one, because this is one, okay? So it's negative one squared, which is one. And this determinant, remember the determinant for two by two matrix is computed by the product of diagonal entries minus product of off diagonal entries, which is the product of four times seven minus five times six, so which is uh, the ultimate solution is uh, negative two. Okay, so the the, the general uh, general uh, rule is to select entry, to select row or column with a lot of zeros, a lot of zeros, if possible. So if we select more zeros, because all the zeros you don't have to compute because they already, you don't have to compute this, right? So you can save to our computation, okay? So last thing I want to emphasize, the determinant only applies for square matrix. If you have a non-square matrix like this one, A is one, two, three, four, five, six, you cannot compute the, the 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 determinant. So determinant only applies to square. 